bit. Uh, could you please tell something about your family dynamic, uh, something about the family? How was uh, Fr Frida? I don't want to talk about Frida. I'm not, so sorry. But your mother, with your father, something. I don't family. want to talk about Frida. About family. I don't want. Okay, I was like from, from the point of view of the biographer that I read, the one woman who has something to do with my father, want to kill my father because my father did her, and, and he want to kill my father with a knife that Picasso gave to this lady. Oh, Bella? Yes. Oh, yes. But so, you, can you explain that Picasso and my father were not friends? <laughs> okay, but the other question is, is that this biographer says that um, that Diego was the creator of Cubism, not Picasso. Yes. In history, it says Picasso was the creator, but it was really Diego. What do you say? Uh, you know, the French people at that time, the French artists and everybody there, doesn't don't, don't like the artists, doesn't like communist people. Oh. And they start to call my father the, Mex the Mexican communist. And they paint on the walls letters, letters, papers with selling. Diego Rivera go out because you are a communist. Oh. Diego Rivera, uh, uh, you must leave. You must leave uh, Paris because because he was a communist. And then uh, and uh, there, there, there happened many things, you know, that they, they but in reality. The one who, who started with the the, 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 the the movies was my father. What I am inspired to ask now is about the next generation, the grandchildren of Diego Rivera. What's the story about them? My father had a, a, a boy uh, from Argentina, Belov, and the boy, he died because of the poverty uh, during the war in Paris. A man. And then my father had an affair with another painter, John Russian painter, Marievna, and he had a girl with her. But he, he doesn't want to recognize the, 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 the girl because the mother was the one who wanted to kill my father. <laughs> <laughs> and then he come, came to Mexico and he had only two daughters here, my sister, and myself, and and uh, my sister was also. I told you before, she was an architect. She, my father wanted that I become an, an archaeologist, but also I want to become a congresswoman. I saw that archaeology never will be can be in the chamber, you know, because you know how the the archaeologists are. They are very clever under the land, yeah. so and under the politics. So I want to become a politician, and I changed uh, my, uh, my, my father, and I went to, to the law school, and economics school, and political science school, and then finally I get my, uh, my degree in uh, law. But I always work uh, in economics, in uh, working in develop, develop, development regions, and develop the, the condition for the people. And, and, and uh, we are only four. And my sister has one girl and one boy. And I, by myself, I have two, two boys. In the last picture uh, that I show you, the day in which my father uh, was uh, 70 years old, I show you there the four grandchildren of my father. Those grandchildren are Sobrina, Sobrina Fernanda, she, she's beautiful, she was here yesterday, and she is a designer. She wants to become a designer for movies and theater dresses. And she has, the, she wore the same day that my father, my mother wore. Second girl, she's very clever, she's doing now two, two careers when she become a, a ambassador. And, and she's very clever, and, and, uh, and she's working already in the Secretaria of Foreign Affairs. And the two boys, 
the three boys, one, one boy from my, my sister, she, he is a great painter, mm -hmm. uh, Juan, uh, Pedro Diego Alvarado. He's a really very good painter, really an extraordinary painter, and he paints uh, all Mexican style. My two sons, one is uh, one is uh, engineer, and he's very serious. He does can take care of things. <laughs> some some politics, some trouble politics. And the second one, he's uh, he's son of uh, one a brilliant Guanajuatense, Don Rafael Lopez. Uh, that he uh, was uh, a poet that was, used to be my father's friend when they were young. And, 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 and the family Lopez is, is a very intellectual family. And my, my son is a movie director and writer, and now he's in church here uh, of the Diego Rivera Foundation. My grandmother was the author of the recipes of my book. She was the one to teach me how to cook. I, I lived with her in Guadalajara for many years, and when I was uh, eight years old and seven years old, and 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 then uh, she, she showed me. She took me to the market and showed me how to do everything of the of the Mexican food. But it was something very funny because. When uh, one day uh, somebody, uh, the, 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 the girl who was working in the kitchen come to, to say to my grandmother, uh, Senora, Senora, it's a, a very handsome uh, uh, Senor who is uh, asking for you. And then my grandmother said, my dad, <laughs> I, I, I went to show who was the, 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 the great man, you know. And he was a friend of my father. Uh, Martinez Valadez, that he was dressed with a, with a botas, with a military dress, but not the official one, the one who is for all the days, you know. And he was very, very well looking and, and said to my grandmother, Doña Isabel, I came to tell you goodbye because I am going to Mexico City because I am becoming a, a congressman. So I hear congressman, <laughs> ah, such a handsome man, I will become a congressman. <laughs> because I was wondering how your father's activism in, in, in being a communist, how that influences your, your political uh, career and why you wanted to become, now explain why you want to become a congressman. My father, my, my father, as I told you, uh, his brother died. Uh, the mother has one year and a half. His son died when he was one half, year and a half. So when he had the opportunity of growing two girls, he dressed us as men. We, we use we use overall, overall, like workers, you know. We went to the school with overall. And, 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 and my father always tell my mother, my sister and I, you should become free women. You should do a career, you should be professional people, and I don't want that you get married with some stupid man. <laughs> so, I wanted to know what your fondest memory of your father is. My dearest memory of my father, the day he died, he died on my arms. Oh. Mm.